Monteu. Let's assume I'm pronouncing it correctly. Monteu. Montaiu? It could be. Uh, it's a French village, and I, I assume it still exists in the Pyrenees. This is about what that village was like in the 1300s. This person, Emmanuel Ladurie, has collected some of the investigation reports and work that uh, a bishop, I think it was a bishop anyway, some sort of Catholic church emissary, collected in the 1300s about this town. All right, this is a Folio Society edition. It comes with a little black slip cover and not much else there. Bound in some kind of cloth, probably buckram. And with these illustrations here. This is the spine. It's got that fun red on the top. I kind of like that. I like a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra effort there. It doesn't do much for, it's not, it doesn't have any kind of utilitarian purpose, but I like the way it looks. And the end papers are this rich sort of burgundy red as well. All right, so to the book itself, Montaigu is, in the 1300s, the Catholic Church sent someone there, or maybe he sent himself there to do some investigations about the, uh, uh, a heretical idea, the Cathars, that was considered a heresy at the time. And he went there and asked a bunch of questions. And so this person um, has put together and explained and rewritten, or not rewritten, but, but, it, but modernized sort of all that. This was originally written in French. This is what I have is an English translation, translated by Barbara Bray. And so uh, there are some illustrations throughout. Let's see if I can find some. Oh, well, I see they're in these sections here, right? I thought there were maybe line drawings as well, but maybe there aren't. Just sort of a little bit about the medieval life. And really what it is, is not so much, this, this book is not so much about the heresy and the Cathars, but just sort of a glimpse into what life was actually like. Um, you know, whether they're talking about their day-to-day -day work or, I don't know, sex, childhood, as you can see, childhood, marriage. Through this person's investigations, we end up learning a lot of stuff that he wasn't necessarily investigating. Um, temporary unions, okay, that's temporary sexual unions that is outside of marriage. The libido of the clerk. Okay, yeah, that's, I don't know how to pronounce that, so cool, but I assume it's about um, the clergy. So I don't remember the, the chapter name, but I do remember that they talked about priests having, uh, having sex. It certainly wasn't something that said, oh, well, that never happens. I remember one woman was saying, oh, well, the priest never comes by to have sex with me when I'm with my husband. He always waits till my husband is gone. Uh, the Shepherd's Mental Outlooks. But I don't, remember, I don't remember the titles of the chapters. So just the life of shepherds in the Pyrenees. So this is, this is it, it, it gives you an insight from primary sources about what, was li what life was like at this time in this place. Okay, what's death like? I wonder if we could, if it would be enlightening to have a look at the table of contents here. So yeah, I found it pretty interesting. I, um, I don't know if it's if it's worth me saying this, but I did not find it hard to put down. Um, it, it's not that it wasn't interesting; every page was interesting, but it just wasn't the kind of thing that I was like, "Yeah, let me." Oh, I need. I can't wait to get back to that book. So it was a bit of a struggle, given that it's not short. And by the way, the English version is shorter than the French version. 
um, you know, 300 something pages long, 350 pages long. And I don't know, it's, the pages are nice. It's nice, reasonably thick. It's this sort of yellowy, creamy yellow color is not aged. That's, that's not paper aging. This is acid free paper. This is what it looked like. So that's okay. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just pointing out that it's not, it's not old. Um, but anyway, it's, I don't know, the, the content of it was whether it's the translation or the, just the original, or maybe the content itself wasn't uh, sucking me in. But in any case, I didn't find it as engaging as I'd wanted to. There's a map section. It's a very short map section. It's like, I don't know. Map. I don't know why they bother having a whole section um, that they call maps, and then there are two maps. <laughs> Anyway, they had some really interesting parts, okay? So there are some things that, if you have any sort of preconceptions about Middle Ages, life in the Middle Ages, you might find those uh, uh, to be, you know, to be exploded. But otherwise, it, I don't know. I didn't love it as much as I wanted. But there we have it, Montaigu. And this is a Folio Society edition written, or at least, I suppose, written, but compiled from original sources by La Durie.